And it's common sense that's disappeared in Washington, D.C. It's common sense that's disappeared in the years of seven and eight in America. And we're inheriting, we're inheriting the awful results, both in our government, or we will shortly, of wild, uncontrolled spending, unbelievable, unsustainable debt. And yet, here we are, doing it again, 20 billion a month to the FHA. On top of what happened to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, we're doing it again today. For 20 billion a month, we're destroying the housing market again under the name of a stimulus, phony, misrepresented names. W will you find common sense in Macau? You're getting a lot of criticism for wanting to move your headquarters there. Will it be? Well, when we, say, when we say we're going to move our headquarters there, it means that I'm going to spend half my time there and that we're going to, do, we're going to spend more of our focus in planning for Asia from Macau. Uh, when I say we're moving our headquarters, we're splitting our headquarters is what we're doing. Uh, I, didn't I, I didn't mean for people to they sort of jump to a conclusion that we're all leaving Las Vegas. That's preposterous. No, but what we are doing is measuring our presence in China at commensurate with the part of our business that is represented there. And the opportunities that I see far superior abroad than in America. What about the regulation and the government oversight in working there as opposed to here? Macau has been steady. The shocking, unexpected government is the one in Washington. That's where we get surprises every day. That's where taxes are changed every five minutes. That's where you don't know what to expect tomorrow. To compare political stability and, 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 and uh, predictability in China to Washington is like comparing Mount Everest to an anthill. Macau and China is stable. Washington is not. Is there a businessman in, or a media person in America that doesn't think that they don't, that, that isn't frightened about what the next crazy idea is coming from Washington. The financial institutions, the cars, the businessmen, the taxes, the health care, everything is cuckoo and God knows what's next. What's health care going to cost you? A lot. It's going gonna, it's gonna to produce the exact opposite of what they've said. It's, it's health co costs, because of that 2,700 pages, is going up, not down. In the simplest possible terms, they added 32 million people, the amount of doctors are going down, and the amount we're paying them is less. When demand goes up and the supply of doctors goes down, what happens to the price? High school students out there, <laughs> children, price goes up. The one thing that would have saved us money, the control of frivolous lawsuits, they didn't touch with a 10-foot pole. Those hypocritical SOBs and the Congress didn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. Every insurance company, every businessman in America said doctors are doing testing in fear of frivolous lawsuits that are unnecessary and it's jacking up the price of medicine. Please do something about that. In Texas, they put a cap on punitive damages and the, and the malpractice insurance dropped by 45% in one year. But did they do it in Washington? No. So when you ask me about predictability and uncertainty politically in China compared to Washington, I take China. Washington is unpredictable these days. Washington is no one in the, in the business community from one coast to the other has any idea what's next. And what's even worse, the people that do business with us, that buy our bonds in other countries, don't know what's next. The uncertainty of the business climate in America is frightening, frightening to everybody. And it's delaying a recovery. We're on our way to Greece in the hands of a confused and foolish government that's living up to the prediction of Alexa, of Alex de Tocqueville, who in 1909 said the American system of democracy will prevail until that moment when the politicians discover that they can bribe the electorate with their own money. And boy, it's in full bloom today. So extreme that it'll probably have an end up to itself. The public is frightened. This Tea Party business is all about fear. There's a sense in the land of discomfort. There's a sense of fear that the politicians are ruining us. And the people are right. It's got to stop. It's got to stop.